Hi everyone, this is James Simone, the author of Apex Rollup, and I'll be demonstrating today how we can set up a record triggered flow for Opportunity Product to roll the total price field up to my Opportunities Amount field. So I'm going to create a new record triggered flow. I'm going to select Opportunity Product as the object. There won't be any condition requirements or entry conditions. However, I will want to change the configuration to be for when a record is created or updated that this record triggered flow will run. And that's it. That's all we need to select on this page. After this, I'll need to add an assignment element, and this will be adding record and record prior to collection variables. So I'll create a new resource. The resource type will be variable. I'll check off the allow multiple values field, and here I'll select that it is a record. Once again, I'll be selecting opportunity product because we're putting record in there, and I'll call this current records. I'll change the operator to add, and the value will be record. We'll do the same thing for the prior record. Once again, the resource type will be variable, will allow for multiple values, it will be a record data type, the object will once more be opportunity product, and we'll have to check off available for input outside the flow. We'll call this one prior records. Once again, we'll update the operator to add and the value this time will be record prior. Now we're ready to add our apex action for rolling up. I'll scroll down on the category sidebar and I'll search my rollup actions for the perform custom metadata rollup based rollup. Since there can be multiple custom metadata records associated with the rollup, here I'll have a more generic label. But in this specific video, I'll be showing you how to wire up the opportunity products total price field to the opportunity amounts field as a sum. In this case, again, I'll be selecting both of these objects as opportunity product. And once I've selected these fields, the rest of the configurable information for this action will display. For our purposes, since this record triggered flow is set to run when a record is created or updated, the rollup context will be upsert. The only other fields that I need to fill out here are defer processing, which I will set to the global constant false, and for prior records to roll up, I'll select our prior records collection variable, and for records to roll up, I'll select our current records variable. And that's it. Once I save the flow and activate it, all custom metadata records associated with opportunity product will begin rolling up whenever opportunity products are updated. So I'll add my example label and save the flow. Now I'll move over to the custom metadata type section of setup, which I've searched for and selected here. All I need to do here is click manage records next to rollup, and I'll be creating a new custom metadata type record. For this one, since I know it's a sum of our opportunity products total price to the opportunity amount, I'll add something like that to my rollup label. Afterwards, I'll look for opportunity as my lookup object, and I will select the opportunity ID as the lookup field on the lookup object. Since I want the total price field to be rolling up to the opportunities amount field, that's what I'll select here. The calc item, once more, will look for opportunity product. The lookup field on the calc item 
will be the referenced opportunity, again the opportunity ID in this case, and the rollup field will be our total price field. Since the rollup operation is already set up as sum, we don't need to change this, but there are plenty of other rollup operation values available to you as you look to roll values up. Our rollup control in this case will be the org default custom metadata type record that ships with rollup. That should be sufficient for 99% of people's rollup needs. Once I've hit save here, that's it. Now all of the information is set to properly roll up anytime an opportunity product is updated to its corresponding opportunities amount field. That's it. I'm done.